You are watching Conquest Sense Special Edition right here on Pursuit Channel. Well, we looked at the liquid scents on the market and we knew we had to be different, so we figured out the wax formula. And that was 14 years ago. It can handle any type of environment, wet, rain, downpours. It leaves a scent trail consistently all the time. Very good to put on your boots, on your sleeves. If you bump something, it leaves a wax residue with that scent in it. Evercalm in the stick formula has become the number one requested scent by hunters and is used all over the country. But hunters have also been asking us for it to be in an aerosol. Well, let me introduce you to the Evercalm bomb in the aerosol can. What's nice about the bomb, the new aerosol bomb, is that it also atomizes. So as the scent comes out of that can, it's spinning and it increases the strength of the scent and it makes it stick to things. So I can now leave a scent trail on the ground by putting the Evercalm wax stick on my boots but I can also take the aerosol bomb and I can make a scent trail at the nose height of animals on the brush and branches as I walk into and around my stand. So I now have two different scent trails that deer are able to work with, with the same smell. Also with the bomb, I can set it off. I can literally fill the area with Evercom very quickly and efficiently that will hold in the area because it's atomized as the scent comes out of the can. The Evercom Bomb and the Running Bomb, both available at your local retailer and ConquestSense.com. The Running Bomb is actually is a buck urine of when they're in the rut. Now, what's the best way to use this? Well, again, you can leave a scent trail on the ground or on branches as you're going in and out of, but I like using it with scrape lines or mock scrapes. A scrape line, if I can find a scrape line of bucks that are being used and I can take the bomb and I can spray a scent trail from one scrape to the next to the next and then I can end it in front of my stand, I have a much better chance of those bucks coming in. Normally it'll be the dominant buck in the area that doesn't want a new buck in that area. So he's gonna find him and push him out. If you can make a mock scrape, and I like making mock scrapes, set it up where I can shoot to that mock scrape. Now I can saturate the ground with the bomb. I can literally spray it full of the atomizing scent. It gets very, very strong, it's very pugnant. I put the Evercom bomb up on the licking branch. You have real deer smells up top. It makes everything in that environment very authentic for those bucks to take that over and be aggressive in checking that spot more often, and hopefully it's in front of your stand to make the harvest. With the addition to Rutting Bomb and Evercom Bomb, Conquest Sense can be dispersed in so many new ways. The new aerosol bombs sell for $19.99. These seven ounce cans disperse out to six feet, allowing easy scent placement while walking to your stand. With the Evercom and Rutting Bombs, you can lock down the nozzle to fill your area. The nozzle atomizes the scent during dispersal, which allows your scent to stick and cling to vegetation. Be sure to order in time for your hunt. Visit ConquestScents.com to order yours today. Well, when you go back to the original liquid, the Evercom liquid, that two ounce bottle retails for $14.99. Then you go to the wax stick formula, the two and a half ounce wax stick, it retails for $19.99. So does the aerosol bomb, the Evercom bomb and the Rutting bomb both retail for $19.99 and those are seven ounce cans. So everything is balanced very well for the amount of product you get for the efficiency of use out in the field. Coming up next, Doug Roberts shares his scent techniques to attract dominant bucks to mock scrapes. The buck's done with a scrape, hits it with each of his front. And Tom Nelson from the American Archer discusses the importance of an authentic scrape using the new scrape maker. Keep watching to learn mock scrape techniques with Conquest Sense.